finished. This is the second last talk. Then we're going out to sea. This talk is very small, very quick. So we get through this together because you all deserve a beer. You're all looking at me right now. Y'all, you see, is a big beer on the stage. De -de 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 -de. <laughs> affinity, affinity. Oh my God. We'll get through this together, don't worry. So, my name's Bob, and I'm here to talk about an app called Affinity Designer 1.6. And you'll notice it's only on version 1.6. It's still new. It's still relatively new. Show of hands, how many people know the app? Ooh, okay. Maybe after the talk, you know a bit better. <laughs> he, he knows it. So, I've been a designer for 19 years, and I started my career in physical products. So, jewelry, believe it or not, candy, toys, and then in 2005, I moved to mobile. And back then, complete different world. <laughs> Beige computers, where the screens were this long and this wide. And I used to make Java games, horrible Java games, horrible websites, and it was so hard to, to make things back then, because the tools weren't there. Then that company went down when the iPhone appeared in 2007. It killed that company. Ringtones, wallpapers, gone. So I left that company and started my own thing called Dr. Moku. We make language learning apps and educational games. Over half a million downloads of the best-selling title, and most of those are actually purchasers. It's a simple idea, good design, and do the marketing before you build the app. You know what I mean? A lot of people here probably have app ideas. And then they build it, and then nobody wants to buy it. But I did the research before I built it, and it sells really good. So overlapping apps and shh, creative momentum. So back in 2011, these are all of the apps that I used every day. How many? 10. And back then, there was no real overlap between design apps. You did your pixels in Photoshop, vectors in Illustrator, fireworks. Prototyping was hard. Illustration used two different apps. But by the time I moved to 2015, Sketch comes into my life. Are the Sketch, sketch people here? Eh? Oh my god, there's a lot of Sketch people in the crowd. Listen, Sketch is a fantastic app. I, really, I love Sketch. Are you a developer? Nice. Great app. But no, it's a great app. I'm not going to diss you right now. But it, it doesn't really feel like a design app. It's a tool, you know what I mean? And when you change your pricing from the flat fee to the, I'm looking at you, sorry, it's not your fault. <laughs> when you change the, the pricing from the flat fee to the, the yearly subscription, that killed me. I don't use Sketch anymore, and it turned a lot of people off. It's still a great app. But you'll see in the second category in illustration, I started to use dun, 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 Affinity Designer, but only for illustration. Then, booyah, 2018, gone. Sketch, gone from my life. Illustrator, gone from my life. Everything gone from, look at that, four, four apps for animation and print. And what I mean about overlapping apps and creative momentum, we all have difficult people in our lives. They can be colleagues, work, family, whatever. And when you deal with a product or a person that doesn't feel, doesn't feel good, you have to deal with them. So you do your pixels over here, do the vectors over here, go back to the other person. And at each step, you lose energy. It sucks your energy and your, your creative juice. So now we do everything in Affinity Design and Photo. There's two apps. There's one, which is a generic uh, photo editing app, and then Design, which I use for everything. And then we move to next year, booyah. No Adobe apps in my life. He likes it. You're smiling. He will like it. What do you think? Who, who pays for Adobe here? Adobe subscription, put those hands up. Don't be ashamed. I still pay. It's terrible. <laughs> it's true. You know what I mean? Do you pay for Adobe? No? Who pay? Put your hands up. Who pays for Adobe? Yeah, you're going you're gonna to pay about 26,000 euros in your life to Adobe. If you live to 80 years of age, you're going to pay every month for the rest of your life. But if you're starting your career right now, now is the time to get the fucking Adobe out of your life. Because you can do it. You can do it. We have this thing that Photoshop is for design, for pixels, uh, Illustrator for vector. No, there's an easier way to do it. And this last app here, the uh, print, is a new app that's coming next year. So hopefully, next year, I move away from Adobe. Hopefully. I'm going to try. 
So, you see what I mean about energy drains? These are three different Adobe apps with three separate vibes. So when you move between these three apps, each time a little bit of you dies because a different message, different text, it killed me. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Look at that. Look, square, square button there, round button there. It's ridiculous. <laughs> and what about this Adobe InDesign? Piece of three different model styles in the same app. Let me just sync that in. Think about that. There he is. When I use that app, it kills me every day. It takes a piece of my soul because I have to deal with three different personalities in the same app. He's liking it. You know what I mean? Yeah? That when you have something that's not consistent and you're moving between an app and within the same app, there's three different personalities. And you're dealing with that person. It could be a person that you work with, a colleague that every Monday morning you wake up and you're like, oh, I have to go to work and talk to this prick. You know what I mean? This is what this app is to me. Every Monday morning, I go, oh, InDesign with its models. Oh, so this is some of the illustration stuff that I do in Affinity. So before we get into the app specifics, I'm going to show you some of my design stuff. So that's all vector. That's all vector. There's no, no bitmaps in there. Oh, uh, there's another kill one. That's all vector. All vector. All Affinity. That's actually made in Affinity Photo, which is the, the photo app. All right, let's get into this. This is the demo. This is where I make my point. So these are my favorite features specifically for app design. Number one, continuous export. So as it says, you send out a link. You create your artboards, and you send out a link to your Marvel, your InVision, or whatever. And then you don't have to touch it ever again. It continuously exports. Once you check that, there's no more sending of files, and it just keeps outputting the same thing. And to illustrate the point, here's a fun example. So this is the, the iPad version of the app coming very soon. So with continuous export, I draw a mustache on this character on the iPad, and it will spit out a live version into the animation app. That will take a few seconds because the Wi-Fi is crap. So that's my studio. Hello. Yeah, there we go. And the mustache is now moving through space and time onto the character. Onto the character. Oh! Look at that. So that's continuous export. It's great. Number two, assets. So in Affinity Designer, you get assets. In Sketch, we all know there's all of the iOS stuff is ready to go. But what's different in Affinity is that you can create your own library so easily. Here's an example. Booyah. So using the, hey, I know that logo. So, so, oh! <laughs> Macho Man Randy Savage. Everybody know who he is, no? So that's me pulling in some, some random assets from uh, the iOS library. Big deal. You've probably seen that before in Sketch. So that's, that's not really a good one, to be honest. OK, responsive constraints. Yawn. We've all seen it before. Big deal. So you create an artboard, say, in iPhone size. And then as you resize that artboard, say, to an iPad or for an Android device, the assets don't squish or squash or distort. It's a good feature. Advanced guides, grids and guides. So here's an example where I made a complete game, all of the assets in one file. So these are the, the promotional stuff in Chinese. So here I'm making uh, isometric art in one artboard. And again, with continuous export, I can spit these into Unity at the same time as I'm, as I'm creating them. And then down here, we have the complete tile set. So as I'm working with the game developer, this is actually the assets in use in the game. So symbols com combined with guides, combined with continuous export, means I don't have to email the developer saying, here are the assets, here are the assets. It just keeps updating it to his folder. Symbols, sketch, big use of symbols and sketch. So here's a illustration example of where I use a symbol. So in this, every roof tile here is a symbol. And when I update it, it cascades through the, through the document. Right, so so what? You've, all, you've seen these features before. Oh, Mr. Sketch there saying, we have, we have most of those features. Yeah, you do have most. Figma has most of these features. Big deal. So what? But it's the way that they do it. It's the way that it makes you feel. You know what I mean? Monday morning, I wake up and I see that icon. Not there. I see that icon and I go, oh, let's get into this. You've seen these features before, but it's the way that they make you feel. You know what I mean? 
You could say the Beatles and Metallica are the same thing. Are they the same thing? Show of hands. <laughs> uh, but if you were describing them to an alien or a child, they're the same thing. But we know there's a nuance, there's an emotion, there's a feeling which makes them unique. So yes, they are the same thing. But they're not really. But it's the way that they make you feel. So the difference between an app and a person is the same thing. What about this? Exactly the same product. Or are they? Yeah, they do exactly the same thing. But each has its own strength, weakness, cost, attractiveness. I would never buy a Zippo, and I would never buy whatever that is at the end. I, I use a Bic all the time. So you know what I mean? That a product can do the same thing, but it's the way that you enjoy doing it. He's liking this. This dude here is smiling at me. You, you're going you're to buy this app. I can see you guys are sold an app right there, man. He's a smoker. He saw those lighters. He can't wait to get out of here. Mic drop moments. <laughs> you can't do it. I can't drop the mic. You ready? Number one. Not really a mic drop moment. <laughs> Designer in the photo, uh, available on Mac and Windows. Big deal. Free trials available for all of these apps. So I recommend if you want to try these apps, get the free trial or buy them directly and just play around with the gradient tool. You know the gradient tool in Illustrator or Photoshop? In Affinity, that's the one thing that got me. It's like you pick up a guitar and it's like, boom! It's tuned automatically and you'll never put it down. Mic drop number three. iPad now, this is top secret shit, you know? I'm not allowed to talk about this, but it's coming very soon. <laughs> Maybe next week. <laughs> you didn't hear it from me. Don't put this online. You getting ready? Who wants to press the button for the mic drop? Any volunteers? I'll do it. Fuck it. No subscription. 54.99. That's it. You're probably thinking, how can it be that good for that price? I don't know. That's true. You know what I mean? I didn't make it. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Now, there's a bit of space left on this screen for one tiny mic drop moment. And I will actually like, drop this little, little baby mic. Get it today from my friend John, who was in the audience, for 20 euros. We have these cards. You buy them with cash. You can get the apps, the boat apps, for 20 euros each. So. We all want to get out of here, so do you want to do questions? Any questions? Go for it. Okay, number one, I don't work for the company. Number two, <laughs> number two, it's coming. I've seen it. It's coming very soon. This year. Definitely this year. I can't I can't wait for it too, man. I send I send those emails to when is publisher? You promised. Blah blah blah. You know what I mean? But they're working on the iPad version. They're a very small team. They're a very, very small team. There's only like, I think like 12 developers making all these apps. It's, it's insane. And the quality of these apps. So yeah, man, Publisher is coming. And it's going to be fantastic. No more InDesign. No more three models in the same fucking app. Questions? Come on, man. Give me a question. Tobias, give me a question. Because I have a Spanish keyboard, <laughs> and I can never do it. I was on the plane. I made this on the plane. That's a, that's a really good question. Do you know why? Because John, my friend, who you will meet after this, just as I was going off the stage, he goes, oh, yeah, mentioned the fact that we have, you can get it today for 20 euro. So I had to type it in quick, 20 euro. I didn't know about that until the end. Give us another. Give me a hard question. What for? A hard question. <laughs> everything, PDF, SVG, everything. Except Corel Draw. Do you remember Corel Draw? It doesn't, it doesn't, I, I, used to, I love that app. Corel Draw is still good for me. Uh, and it's, it's flawless. So if you have lots of Illustrator files, you can just pick up where, where you left off and start here. Come on, give me a hard question. Uh, that's, that's my Danish friend over here. Yeah. The question on everyone's lips, Salon Select was number six is the shampoo that I use, so now, now you know. <laughs> so, say hello. Get me on Twitter, Clamnuts, for anything and all things affinity. Or for any juicy design projects you have, I'll rock your world. So I think we'll leave it there. Yay!